I haven't played Escape from Monkey Island as much as the other games because, well, it's Escape from Monkey Island. With its frustrating controls and disorienting cuts between awkward camera angles, the act of playing the game just isn't that much fun, even if there are a few fun things in the game. So having not revisited this game as often as the others, I don't remember a whole lot from it, but I do recall one death in this game. And no, I'm not talking about the fact that Elaine is declared dead at the start of the game. I'm talking about the part where Guybrush can kill himself. And no, not out of frustration from the unenjoyable gameplay. Goodbye, cool adventure game. Eh, forget it. I'm talking about when Guybrush meets himself in the mists of time. This is probably my favorite part in the game, a clever exchange that gamifies an homage to Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. If you screw up this exchange, you cause a paradox and have to start all over from the beginning of the mists. At one point, future Guybrush gives past Guybrush a gun, and if you're controlling past Guybrush, you can shoot future Guybrush. Ow! Gee, you're right. Gun owners are five times more likely to shoot themselves. Weirdly, this causes a paradox, despite not actually being paradoxical. It's just a looper situation. There's nothing timeline breaking about that. What would actually be paradoxical is if future Guybrush could shoot past Guybrush, but future Guybrush is not given that option. Eh, even the part I like in Escape has to have some annoying thing that doesn't make sense about it. Anyway, otherwise this gun is just for you to give to yourself, and it serves no other purpose in the game, and that's pretty funny. 